Hello, I'm Ken Coffey with Appalachian Electric Cooperative, and this is Coffee Talk. I want to talk to you today about heating and cooling our homes. A lot of folks don't realize, but heating and cooling our homes can actually account for as much as 50% of our overall energy use on a monthly basis. So when we're looking at our heating equipment, we want to make some smart choices that reflect high efficiency and give us the most return on maintaining the comfort level in our homes. Now the heat pump is the most efficient form of heating in that we actually transfer heat from one area to another instead of having to actually generate heat, say like with a gas furnace or an electric resistance heater. Now the air source heat pump actually uses two pieces of equipment equipment, the indoor unit and an outdoor unit. During the cooling season, we actually remove heat from inside our home. We transfer it through the refrigerant lines to the outdoor unit, which is our condenser, and we release it into the air outside. Now the outdoor unit houses some components that help us with the refrigeration cycle. We have a compressor that actually pumps our refrigerant. The heat pump has a reversing valve that reverses the flow of refrigerant depending upon the season. So during the heating season, the reversing valve actually reverses the flow of refrigerant. We pick up heat from the outside air we transfer it through the refrigerant lines back into the indoor unit, which then becomes the condensing unit, and we release the heat to the inside of our homes to maintain the comfort level we asked for. Even when the temperatures are really low, there's still heat in the air outside that we can pick up, making these units work very efficiently and effectively in maintaining the comfort level in our home. Now, when the temperatures outside get really low, say like on a day like today, there's a heat strip that works in unison with the reverse cycle refrigeration to very effectively and efficiently maintain the comfort level in our home. Now there's a few different types and configurations of heat pumps. We've talked about the air source heat pump that is a split system where we have an indoor and an outdoor unit. There's the ground source or water source referred to as a geothermal system. There's a package heat pump that actually houses both the indoor and outdoor units in an encasement on the exterior of the home. We also have the ductless mini split system that doesn't utilize a traditional duct system for air delivery, but is very effective and very efficient in maintaining the comfort level in our homes. Regardless of what type or configuration heat pump we choose, they all have the same principle as far as heating and cooling we transfer heat from one place to another. So some really good information regarding the equipment and the efficiency to maintain the comfort level in our homes. This information is brought to you by your trusted energy partner, Appalachian Electric Cooperative, and this edition of Coffee Talk. We hope you guys stay safe, stay well, and of course stay efficient. Hello, I'm Ken Coffey with Appalachian Electric Cooperative. And this is Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, look at that.